Good morning. Well, today is March the 18th, Wednesday. We are at the Pretty River Valley Road trailhead. Now, I was here last week hiking through this area and it was absolutely amazing. But what I did see was some beautiful, amazing rapid rivers and streams. Uh, this time of year, there's a lot of kind of melting and thawing going on. So there's a lot of water flow going through there. And they looked absolutely amazing, especially with a little bit of fresh snow here and there. Fresh snow we don't have today, although we do still have snow and ice um, everywhere, but no, no fresh snow today. But I decided, you know what, today I'm going to come back. I parked my little car right here at the trailhead. So this is the trailhead right here. It's a pretty river valley trailhead that's parking for a few cars. Uh, half a dozen maybe, whatever, four or five cars. And we're going to start the hike. It's not a major hike. It's not a big hike. It's a few kilometers. And we've got a, a couple of pretty big climbs ahead of us. Uh, very icy conditions today. But um, that's where we're going. We're going to head out there. We're going to see if we can find some really nice and capture some beautiful uh, images this morning of a more kind of intimate landscape uh, format uh, or theme. Um, rapid running rivers. So, hey. Let's get our gear together, got our backpack, full camera gear, packs weighing around 25 pounds today. Uh, but we've got full camera gear with us, a couple of camera bodies, uh, several lenses, filters, tripods, all kinds of good stuff. We've got the drone, although we are going to be inside the trees today. I doubt if we'll get the drone up, but you never know. Um, so, hey, let's get ready. Let's get the hiking poles. Let's set out on the trail and let's see what we can find today. Let's go. It's an absolutely beautiful morning uh, to be out on the trail. Uh, temperature today, or right now, is about minus three degrees Celsius. Uh, underfoot, it's crisp on the ice and snow. Uh, but as you can see, probably from the video, uh, from the in the GoPro, um, a lot of the snow has melted. Um, just on the trail where it's hard packed, there tends to be more ice than anything. And certain areas where the wind had blown in snow uh, the snow is still there. It hasn't melted yet completely, but it is melting. However, um, and that's just because daytime highs right now in March, mid-March, are usually above freezing. Um, we are going to get more snow. It is still March, and um, we can get some major snowstorms all through March, and I'm sure we will get snow yet. Uh, but today is absolutely gorgeous. It's a beautiful day to be out on the trail. Uh, just in case I haven't mentioned you yet, it's Gary here with Gary Clayton Photography. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So yeah, today it's all about rapid rivers, streams, brooks, uh, white water if you will, uh, intimate uh, landscape images. And yeah, it promises to be great. Inside the forest, oh, we're gonna have we're gonna have really nice kind of light uh, penetrating through the treetops, and uh, that's gonna give us some real kind of contrast, some shadows, some interest. Uh, so yeah, it should work out fine. It should be actually a good day for what we're doing. Okay, let's get going down this trail because we've got some. Uh, steep climbs coming up before we descend down the other side of the valley uh, to where the Pretty River Valley River itself actually runs through and that's where we're heading so let's keep going When I was along this trail last week, I believe it was Friday, um, it was extremely icy. It is today too, uh, which makes the ascents challenging and the descents even more challenging. Uh, not using spikes today, but I am using my good Morel winter hiking boots. Um, 
and they're holding their own they're doing just fine um, but further up the trail I recall uh, from last week a really nice kind of interesting woodland area so I think we'll probably incorporate uh, maybe one or two uh, woodland shots uh, into today's uh, shoot as well as the water or the rapid river I think that could be really really quite interesting and seeing we're here why not indeed uh, the trail gorgeous just take a look absolutely beautiful trail today uh, right now we're in kind of small trees bush area if you will and um, lots of sunlight uh, blue skies uh, with some cloud uh, and the weatherman said that's exactly what we'd get today um, where we're going is much deeper in the forest much more of a uh, overhead canopy but we should still get some really nice light through there today so yeah so far so good quite a, an ascent uh, leaving the trailhead so first thing on a morning that's a challenge uh, with a 25 pound pack and so on but it's all good great exercise a great day to be out here Our first, our first composition of the day. Now this is one of the woodland scenes I'd mentioned a little earlier. Uh, the trail goes right through these tall, tall cedars. Uh, absolutely beautiful. We're set up on the tripod. We're using our Fujifilm X-T100. We have, uh, let me see now, a focal length of 15 mil. We have one quarter of a second or one fourth of a second um, shutter speed f11 my camera tells me we're correctly exposed but you know what let's go to about a stop under capture an image and let's go to so right in the middle of that <laughs> the camera uh, the battery on my gopro went dead but what we're at now is a uh, one shot at hopefully one stop over we'll capture that image so we did take three images one stop under one stop over and one stop at what my camera tells me is correctly exposed and that's a technique we use a lot and you'll notice i do it manually uh, just because i prefer it that way uh, but that's okay possible hdr image if not we have the data from the stop under the stop over and the correctly exposed to work with hey i have no idea what we got from that but if we've got anything at all there it goes we'll look at it now okay so first compositions in the bag now what i actually might do i might set up in a um maybe a vertical or portrait orientation and take a little look with that composition and see what we've got let's just go back to camera correctly exposed so yeah you know what stand by let's set up in a vertical or portrait orientation and let's see what we can capture stand by okay Again, we're set up in the portrait or vertical orientation. Let's take one shot again at what my camera tells me is correctly exposed. And let's go to one stop under or thereabouts. Grab that shot. Let's go to one stop over. Grab that shot. Now, one little thing you'll notice, um, if you watch a, a, lo a lot of my other uh, videos and so on, most of the time I'm using a two-second timer. But you'll notice on this Fujifilm, I didn't set a two-second timer. I find uh, the digital stabilization of the actual sensor itself is really quite good. And for some reason, I just haven't seen the need as of yet to use a two-second timer. Although, of course, I will. We're not at a hugely slow shutter speed. Quarter of a second... Um, eighth of a second a sixteenth of a second this kind of thing so it's not considered really really a super slow shutter on a mirrorless camera unlike say a DSLR I would definitely be using my two second timer there just not needed here okay so yeah first composition of the day we're going to carry on up this trail we're going to start to look more at the river and the rapids and see what we can capture there let's keep going up this trail let's see what we see 
our next composition. So we've actually made it to the, um, the stream or river, uh, the pretty river that's coming through here. And we are set up on the tripod, but we're set up down low. We're also using, right now we've gone with the Canon uh, 50D and the 24 to 70 mil lens. I have just finished a series of shots with my Fujifilm mirrorless X-T100. Uh, but I want to really try to make sure I get this shot. So I am going with my familiar Canon 50D also and taking the exact same series of shots. And again, as you'll know, if you've watched other ones, uh, recent uh, videos in my, on my Gary Clay photography channel, you'll know that I've been comparing both of those cameras uh, just to see which one is giving me the best quality image. So yeah, absolutely an amazing location. I really noticed this just last week um, when I came hiking through here. Okay, so again, we're set up on the tripod. We have a polarizer set to maximum polarization. We have 1.6 ND filter. We're showing one quarter of a second. Let's just grab that image at F11. I'm just gonna try let me see now let's just try that just a little bit more just go up one stop overexposed and there that's it uh, pretty simple so we went again with um, a few different shots at varying exposures it gives me that data again in Lightroom to work with Whew. absolutely stunning um, this week here in Ontario, it's a spring break or March break for the school kids. Um, and normally the kids would be off right now. And of course, with the virus that's going around, all the schools are closed right now. Anyhow, but yeah, let's move from here. Let's find another composition. Let's see what else we can find. Let's go. So probably for a final image today, I'm just loving this little section of this river. However, I'm too far to the left, right here on the snow where I'm stood. I need to move further right that is just rock and water. Although there is a little gravel area further down there. Maybe I can get into that, I don't know. So you know what? We're gonna try to find a place where we can set up the tripod. Because I really like what I'm looking at here. It's just a matter of getting into a position where I can get a composition that I can work with. Yeah. Wow really really interesting super place love it absolutely beautiful right here at the pretty river valley it's actually a provincial park is a pretty river valley park i believe um really really nice beautiful hiking through here and stunning images just a gorgeous location okay let's see if we can find a place and get set up with a composition we can work with let's take a look Okay, we're set up on the tripod. Uh, we have our polarizer set to maximum polarization. We have our uh, 0.6 ND uh, filter. It's showing me about a quarter of a second and I would like to slow things down just a wee bit more. That's at F16. I don't want to go anything uh, smaller on the aperture. Um, and that's the only, oh, that's the, yeah, that's the only ND filter I have with me today is the uh, 0.6. But I do have a graduated ND filter. I have a couple of those. Let me just try inverting one of those. Let's see if I can do something with that. Okay. Let's do an inverted and ND graduated filter. Let's just see if we can balance that in there quite right. Get that in there. Let us see if that's going to help us out, slow things down a bit here. Oh yeah. One sixth of a second. Whew. Fingers are starting to get cold. One shot 
two thirds of a stuff over, well, one third of a stuff over, two thirds of a stuff over, and one stuff over, one stuff under, and one shot correctly exposed. Again, a variety of images to work with there. Okay, so <laughs> definitely a little bit challenging on this small spot right here with the rapid water running around me. Um, so keeping my feet dry on this small spot of, of gravel, quite a challenge. Uh, the tripod is just at that height where I can't get low enough um, and I'm not taught I don't get high enough. It's just a bit of an awkward situation. But I think we did get a nice image out of that, or at least I hope I did. So you know what? I think from this particular point here, we're going to pack up and we're going to start heading back down the trail again. Because this trail goes around a different way than it comes up. Maybe we'll see something different. I'm not sure. But let's go take a look. Maybe that's the last image of today, but that's okay too. So far we've got one nice woodland image that I believe, and two water scene images, which is exactly what we came for. So hey, let's pack up from here, let's, con let's head back down the other side of this river this time, and let's see what else we can find. Okay. Just an absolutely uh, beautiful stretch of trail uh, through here. Again, with the ground kind of partially snow covered now. Again, it being March, March the 18th, uh, we have had some above freezing temperatures. And uh, today, right now, it's about freezing. Uh, but we have had some melting, some thawing, which is revealing uh, the kind of golden uh, brown of the fall leaves from last year that's on the ground uh, so yeah icy 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 very very icy trail spikes all but mandatory although i'm not wearing spikes i do have a, a few challenges here and there especially coming up when we've got a steep descent on a really icy section um but you know again nowhere else i'd rather be just an absolutely beautiful location. I just love being outdoors, uh, especially in the forest along this trail. It's all part of the Bruce Trail. Uh, 900 kilometers worth of trail from Niagara to Tobamori. So again, I'm sure if you watch others of my uh, videos, you'll know I do get out on the Bruce Trail quite a bit. Also, by the way, for those that don't know yet, I do have a second channel, trail named Jasper. It's more about the hiking side of uh, photography, if you will. Hiking and landscape photography, they just go hand in hand. And we generally hike to most locations um, to capture those images that we love so much. Yeah, what a gorgeous location. We just finished quite a, a climb. We're opening up here into an open area it's bright out even though it's gray it's bright diffuse sunshine through the gray cloud uh, now when I was capturing the images um, of the stream and the river the rapids and so on it was very flat the light which was okay because it was much more of a uh, intimate type shot now right now the light is changing the lights actually improving and you're getting a beautiful kind of diffuse light uh, as the cloud layer seems to thin and the sun is is starting uh, the sun's light is starting to penetrate that cloud layer um, which makes for a beautiful soft diffused light um, almost like landscape photography through a soft box and i really really do enjoy that we've talked before about embracing the gray i like gray but anyhow, that's just me. Okay, let's continue down here. I don't think we're going to be uh, particularly coming across any more um, amazing kind of landscape images um, on this particular uh, hike or this particular location today. Uh, where it's about an hour from where we parked the car this morning to where we were shooting and then about an hour back 
and we're getting there maybe 20 minutes to go on the way back um just enjoying the hike <laughs> enjoying where we are enjoying the day i hope wherever you are you're enjoying your day i know the whole world right now is in a terrible scare uh with the virus that's going around but you know what let's just be positive be safe be happy enjoy some photography and hiking videos on youtube that's always good for the soul i hope you're all safe i really do okay so yeah we will continue this hike we will get back to the car and we're gonna head back to the studio now normally after all my hikes and photography shoots i go to the local tim hortons or a restaurant and have coffee and maybe a bun or a snack of some kind I guess I can't do that today. I believe now that Ontario is under a state of emergency, I think all the restaurants are closed. Although I think the chains like um, Tim Hortons and so on, I think their drive through windows are open. Anyhow, not to worry. I brought a flask of coffee with me anyhow. It's just waiting for me along with a banana in my car, which would be perfect today. Okay. Let's keep going and let's enjoy this hike. Slippy, slippy, slippy today. Icy, icy, icy. This little flat area uh, of the trail is going to take us right back to where we started. Just, oh, three or four hundred yards uh, down the trail back to the car. So I think at that point we're probably going to end our video right here. Thank you so much uh, for watching my video. Please like, share, subscribe, uh, comment. Um, yeah, Gary here, Gary Clayton Photography. Again, thank you for watching. Let's sit back with that cup of coffee um, and take a look at a couple of images that we captured today. Bye-bye.